Well, good morning. This is Around the House with Kay and Tom. This morning I am going to fix some old-fashioned corn pudding. It's supposed to be a comfort food, and so let's just see. I think I need some comfort today. <laughs> All right, what we start out with, we're going to have five eggs. You need five eggs. You need a third cup of butter that is melted. You need a half I'm sorry, a fourth a cup of sugar. You're going to need a half a cup of milk, which I haven't poured yet, but I'm planning on to. We need four tablespoons full of cornstarch. We need two cans of just regular, I got Del Monte, sweet corn. And then I also have a can of um, sheep egg corn. You can use the, just any kind of corn, just a but I like this because it's got a crunch to it and it makes it good. And we're going to use one teaspoon, a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So we're going to get started. First off, the first thing I've got to do is heat my oven for 400 degrees. Okay, the first thing we have to do is you get a two quart dish, Pyrex dish or whatever you got, and you're supposed to grease your dish. So I'm just going to do that to start off with. Because it says to grease your dish, dish and just set it aside. So we're just going to do this right quick and we'll just set it aside. And nothing beats good old Crisco, I guarantee you that. So. Okay, all greased up. Didn't take long. So what we're going to do with this is we're just going to set it aside for the time being. Our next step that we do is we take a bowl and we're going to put five eggs in this bowl, in a large bowl. We're just going to break them in this bowl and then we're going to beat them up. And this is Around the House with Kay and Tom. I hope you'll join my channel. Subscribe to it. So we now have the five eggs broke in the bowl. And we're just going to lightly just beat them up just a little bit. It says lightly beat. I guess that's what you call lightly beat. They're all mixed together. Then we're going to add our one third cup of butter, and I've already got that melted. So I've got a cup of butter, a one third cup of butter. We're just going to pour that right in there. It says to add your sugar. And your sugar was one half cup of sugar. There you go. And you need a half a cup of milk. milk because I just didn't want it sitting out. So we'll find there's a half a cup. We're going to put a half a cup of milk. Now since we're using cornstarch, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this cornstarch in this bowl, in this empty little bowl here. And it says four tablespoons full of cornstarch. And then I'm going to gradually add the milk to it. And then I, when I get it blended together, then I'll put it in my egg mixture. And that will keep it from being lumpy. So we've got four tablespoons full of cornstarch. And then I'm just going to gradually add the milk. I'm 
just stir it together a little bit. Like I say, it just keeps it from, whoa, 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 I like to have turned that over. I've got that sort of maybe together. We're going to put this in the egg mixture. And that way you don't have any lumps in anything. Anytime you've got dry ingredients and you're going to add any kind of liquid to it, if there's any way that you can add just a little bit at a time, and get it blended before you add it into the rest of your stuff. It'll keep it from being lumpy. All right. And then all you've got to do now is that you stir in your corn. You know what I forgot to do right quick? I forgot to put my little bit of... I'm going to put... I am going to put half a teaspoonful of vanilla flavoring in it. I forgot to get that out, but we've got it. So we're just going to do a half a teaspoon. Now a lot of people don't put vanilla flavoring in it, but to me it just... My mom always put vanilla flavoring in it, so that's what we'll do. Part of my childhood, I lived on a farm, and my dad raised enough <laughs> vegetables to feed the county almost, and uh, corn was one of the things he raised, plus peas, purple hull peas. Okay, we got that stirred up good. And we used to have to get up and be up there at 6 o'clock to go pull the corn out of the fields and we take it down to the house and put it on the picnic table then we have to stand there and shuck it and I'm not talking about going out there and just pulling an ear or two I'm talking about bushels bushels of corn then after we got it all shucked and got the silks out of it then that was our job, and then it was up to moms to go and take it in the house, wash it, and she would either freeze it or cut it off the cob and then freeze it. And then that way, she always had fresh corn through the winter time. We grew most everything we ate through the winter time, stream beans squash, and you name it, just a rugged farm. Daddy had beef cattle, and so um, that's just the way I was raised. I just heard my stove go off, so that is now at 400 degrees. But let's just get all this mixture mixed in real, real well. Just as soon as we get this mixed in, we will pour it in our casserole dish that's been uh, greased. And all you have to do then is put it in the oven and bake it for one hour. So this isn't really a rush home and get done and be ready for dinner or something other. This is more like a Saturday or to fix for a Sunday or something, but it is really, really good. I really hope y'all can see my mixture good. It seems to be all creamy, all blended in. Let's get that corn out from in between that. And I'm just going to bring my casserole dish over here. We're just going to pour it right here in this bowl.
one good thing about this, it doesn't rise or puff up or anything like that. So it's not a matter of it's going to boil over into your stove or anything. I'm not saying it can't, but it doesn't usually. There you go. And it's all fixed, and in the oven it will go. And in an hour, I'll take, I'll check on it, and then we'll, I'll check on it before the hour's up, and then we'll take it out, and we'll have a, some good old-fashioned corn pudding. And again, this is around the house. I want you to please subscribe, but we'll be right back with the finished product. Now, I've just put my corn pudding in the oven, and I'm going to cut it for one hour. But we will check on it beforehand. Well, I'm going to take a quick peek and let's see what it looks like, if we can do it without. Oh, yes. It is rising pretty and it looks good. It actually cooked for one hour. It has just gone off. I couldn't hold the camera and pick this up too, so I just took it out of the oven and brought it over here. And this is what it looks like. And I'm going to let it cool just for a few minutes. And then I'm going to get it and put some in a plate. And we're going to taste it and see what it is. Okay, let's see what this is when we take it out of this. Well, now, it looks just like my mama's used to look. But now, whether or not, this is what it is. That's the way it looks underneath it. Whether or not it will taste as good, we will very well soon see. Very good. Let's lay that right there for the time being. Let's just see what this is like. It is slightly still hot. This is really good. You really have got to try this out. It's just old-fashioned corn pudding. Again, this is Around the House with Kay and Tom. Hope you would join my channel and subscribe to me and come back to see me. Have a good night.